Hello everybody. Welcome back to Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. I have Cherie, I was getting ready to call her by her nickname, Reggie. <laughs> Cherie Ebank, Gardner Ebanks. I got that right now? Yeah, it's Cherie Gardner Ebanks. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are going to make some fiery elote corn for you. And we're also going to make some stuffed steak rolls. Mm, sound like I'm about to get full. It's about to get full. And we're about to get that aroma going on in here. Okay. Now, um, as part of my life lessons, I've been picking topics, subjects, right? But today, Riri is very entertaining. <laughs> so I thought that um, as a part of the life lessons, that we would go a little lightly today. So, uh, the, the conversations are going to be open according to how Miss Riri decides <laughs> she wants to throw the conversation at us. But, as, as we get started to, first we're going to make this fiery elote corn. Now, oh, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put the corn on. Because we, we have the corn, we, we stick it in the microwave with the husk on. We stick it in the microwave with the husk on. And so we're going to let that go for a minute. Now, at the same time, our um, stuffed steak rolls are going to have mushrooms in it. So, but we need to slice the mushrooms. And I'm going to slice just a couple so we can show Riri how, what we want it to look like. And because she's here to help and learn a new dish, mm -hmm. she's going to be at it too. Okay, so that's how we want it to look, um, Riri. And like I said, I already sliced up some, but we're going to get her because we still need a few more. And we want to um, show her step by step so she can get down with that. Okay? Now, this fiery alote corn, my goodness this is looking perfect the ingredients we have for the corn is uh, of course corn unhusk um, some mayonnaise we need some grated grated um, parmesan cheese and some uh, a, a fiery tasty fiery spice blend now I got this red hot original stuff you know I put that on everything that's a nice little powder here and Ooh, some colantro. You know what? I do have some in the refrigerator. And we have some fresh limes that will come into the picture um, for the, the corn. Of course, it's the Frank stuff and some Parmesan cheese and stuff like that. So we got, we got the corn um, working in the microwave. We got Miss Riri working on the mushrooms. And um, again, um, Riri um, was telling me about this recent audition she went to. Yes, yes, it so, was fun. So, I mean, tips, uh, again, we know that it's a lot of people who are, um, have ambitions of being in the field of acting and, or, or, or comedy, or, and they don't have the opportunity. How did you go about that? How did you get that? How did you get the opportunity? Well, um, for most of you who know, I make a lot of, you know, I make you, uh, Facebook videos. And um, I guess, you know, one of the casting agents, you know, seen my videos, cause you know, it went kind of hood viral, I would say. <laughs> hood viral, not real viral. You don't, have, you don't have to go no thinner than okay. that. Again, I don't, I don't want no, no treachery going over here with the <laughs> Yeah, but um, I it went, you know, so they reached out to me and asked me to do an audition. So um, I sent them my casting tape, and then they called me back for an audition. So I did an audition, and then I made it to around the two of auditions. Now, what, what do you mean when you say casting tape? Everybody won't know what that what that means. Did you specifically send uh, 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 make a tape for that, or did you send something that you got a lot of? Uh, feedback on. Well, initially they've seen something that they, they got a lot. I got a lot of feedback on. Uh -huh. 
And then they wanted me to send, they sent me a script and asked me to do, um, you know, an, an audition. To do the lines. Yes, to do the, all line, to do the lines. Mm -hmm. And then once I did the lines and everything, they called me back for an audition. And then after I finished that phase, they sent me uh, another email and called, contacted me telling me, you know, can I come out for a final round of auditions? And so I did. I knows why Riri is so hilarious. <laughs> I'm over here telling her not to cut her fingers. And when she, she, when she not, she was doing her I'm mom thing. I'm over here thing. like this, yeah. Yeah, she was doing her mom thing. That's uh -huh. her mom thing. Uh -huh. So, whoo. Okay. Okay. She's into it. She's into it. All right. So, again, we got this, um, she, we got the mushrooms going. And... <laughs> I didn't say nothing, Alexa. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hate sharing that name around this this box because you know how these big brother is. <laughs> so I, I think that we're going to go with what we got. Okay. Riri, good, good, because we have plenty of mushrooms. So we'll go with what we have here. And so we're going to set this to the side. Let's just set that to the side because we, um, we're going to get in, in we're gonna to get to that, so I'm, I'm gonna sit that right there. I'm gonna sit that right there. I'll, I'll sit, sit this behind this. Okay. So, oh, good, good, right perfect time. timing, perfect oh, right timing, on time. perfect timing. Now, it looks good. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. Riri, you're gonna have one, of course, and I, and I'll take one. Now, what we did, you see, we have a couple um that, that are that are that are done already. So we, because we wanted to see how this was going to work out because the corn has the husk on it you know has the husk and has that silk in there and we're saying how's how are you going to get that off um how are you going to get that off without um leaving some on but when we followed the instructions this is what it had us do it had us it's right we're going to cut right into here cut this off you gotta put your muscle grease in it yeah you we're going to cut muscle. that off now we didn't go. We don't. We didn't go all the way down to the front because it still would make it um, difficult to, to 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 pull. Now, now we're like pushing up from the bottom. Gotta use the towel. Yeah, it's, hot. it's it's hot. It's hot. But we're pushing up from the bottom. In fact, I even took the knife and went in there and 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 slid it a little bit. Oh, just like that. So now, whoa. Look at there. Mine's ain't dilated to 10 centimeters yet. So yes. I, gotta, I gotta get a little cut to it, you know. They wasn't they weren't coming out. So, but it's the, it slides right out. See how it slides right out, guys? This slides right out. Slides right out. There you go. So now we got it. Now again, I saw that I had maybe because I didn't I had two pieces in at the same time. So it's just a little pieces of silk, a couple pieces of silk on there. So, but now the second part of this um, fiery chicken uh, olote corn is the mayonnaise. Did I say what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we the corn husk, the mayonnaise. Yes, I did say what we needed. Oh, and yep. Cherie, I know that I have. You got some Parmesan cheese. Uh huh. And some I know that and I salt. Have a, I have, Little I fire can't go without the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Garlic, my favorite breath be bang, but this good. Now, we, we, I'm gonna let you use this brush since it's a little wider. Okay. Okay. But we're we're going with the mayonnaise. Now we're gonna spread mayonnaise on the corn. However much you, I guess, however way you like the mayonnaise is how much you spread on the corn. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! It smells so good, especially when it's when it's warm. The corn is, is warm. It's, it's warm, so it starts melting the mayonnaise down into it. Yep. And in fact, I had told Cherie, Riri, how. Now I put that in here, Riri, so we can pinch it out onto the wood corn, because actually the first one said. Riri likes Parmesan cheese, I can tell. Mm -hmm. So now, now we're going to take the fiery stuff. We got the mayonnaise on. Now we're going to sprinkle the fiery season on to the 
corn. Yeah. And I'm me, I like spicy food, so I'm gonna get a little heavy handed for me. Especially since you already tasted it, right? Yeah, it was good. So now, of course, we have the little spi um, spicy seasoning on, you know, roll the corn around like that. So we have it like that. Now we're gonna take and sprinkle the Parmesan on. And the best part about it as this is really not the final step. Now that looks, it already smells fantastic and it already looks good, but it is not the final step. Now there's the Parmesan oh, cheese the right there. Right there, so you can sprinkle some on there. Now, of course, um, it also calls for lime juice. So of course I went and got some Parmesan cheese give it the texture I like. Mm -hmm. I like different textures textures when I'm eating. So now I got um, the lime, the lime. So now I'm going to cut the lime and Riri, you squeeze that for a second so I can get that button right there. Yeah. Okay. So. Now, that's right, now we're going to squeeze the lime on over top and get some lime juice on this corn. Now, we have that. That little zest to it. That, at, oh my goodness, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put the, the lime on here. Now, of course, we wanted to go through it step by step with you guys. This is the fiery elote, elote corn. Now, now, I'm just going to stick this piece over here. And look, Ruby throwing some Lowry's on there, too. You make it how you can make it. Make it how you want to make it. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to go into the steps of making the stuffed steak rolls. Okay? So, let, let me put this over here, Riri, in case anybody comes in on this and wants to taste something good. Mm -hmm. These, I'll throw these behind us. Now before we um, um, get it's into really good. before we get into the stuff the stuffed steak, we have to throw something, some or a bit of our seasoning, on the on the stove. So I'm going to put the fire on. Good thing I tried it before I got on camera. Y'all would have seen me slobbing and everything. Uh huh. <laughs> What we're, and we're, what we're going to do now, we're going to put a little oil in here, a little splash of some corn oil, so we can have that sizzling up. And I throw that on the stove. Now, we're going to let the pan get a little hot before we start dumping our stuffs in there, our, our ingredients in there for the stuffed steak. But for the stuffed steak, we need to have some granola oil, some garlic chopped, sweet onion chopped, mushrooms, um, salt, black pepper, Frank's um, flank steak, because that's what the, the the cut of the steak is called, the flank steak, and some fresh baby spinach, which we have. We have all the ingredients, and now we get ready to get into um, what we're going to do. Okay, of course we need some onions. Now it doesn't really call for the the peppers and stuff, but I. Everybody knows that I love the peppers, the green peppers and the red peppers. And it gives it like some color, you know? Yeah. It gives you and, color. And actually, it says, uh, 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 you know, I'm good for getting this stuff already chopped up. So, they yes. Got, got time for crying. <laughs> got time for crying. I like that. Okay, so, and we got some garlic, some minced garlic. Okay. So, now, and I hear the grease starting to do its popping thing, which means it's ready. So I'll grab a spoon. Oop, I'm gonna leave this over here and we'll bring we'll bring that we'll take that stuff to there. That pan is gonna be used for the steak when we see the steak. So we already know how to how to steak to the taste. Because mm. the grease already telling us to say it's about to be popping. It's about to be popping. <laughs> so now we got the green pepper, we got the garlic. We got the green peppers, red peppers in the pan. And we're going to throw the onions in. 
And we're also going to throw in the mushrooms. So we got the garlic, we got the green peppers, red peppers, um, the white sweet onions, and now we're gonna throw the mushrooms in there. So you do it, do you um, uh, fry it until it, like the stuff get translucent? It's gonna caramelize. We're gonna, okay. we're gonna fry it until it's caramelized. Okay. So everything is doing, right now, we just put it on, 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 on the stove. So everything is gonna do its thing. Now we can get back to talking about what you were talking about, and that you were talking about how um, so they, they reached out to you mm -hmm. because you was catching a lot of people's eyes, <laughs> and, and, and and it wasn't nobody that you knew, was it? No, I, I don't. I had a, I actually I had to drive all we like darn near close to New York City for all this audition, so I was like driving a lot to you know to during the process. So so in other words. She, Riri, she, she gonna be on TV. She gonna be on TV right now. Hope but, so. But she gonna, but this is gonna, this is a part of the process of taking you into right, the right. direction that you want. Right, you know you gotta crawl before you walk. Yes, I'm but, crawling. but, but, and, and but, uh, again, if in any, any mission, any goal, you have to start. First, you gotta start. Mm -hmm. So you can get there. Right? Yeah. You got to start. And 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 she and she she's she she knows what she wants to do. She's doing she's doing her thing as a great mom. She has a a, a son that she's taking him in the direction of, of, of great footballness, you know, he goes to the football camps and stuff like that. Yeah. She has a very supportive husband who he, he does what he's supposed to do. My niece is happy. <laughs> Riri is happy. Yeah, no, I I'm appreciative for my village. Definitely it, I'm definitely am. Um, and I, I, I appreciate my uncle for giving me this, allowing me to go into his platform and be able to showcase or tell you guys about what I do. Appreciate it. But this is Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. Oh, okay. And everything we, we, we doing, we, we, we live in life. Mm -hmm. So um, doing something like this to um, help somebody, help ourselves to to encourage ourselves to, to you know to do our thing, and all that kind of stuff is easy for me. It's easy for me. Look, I, I'm 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 about to bite that. I'm about to bite that. Look at that. It looks so. This is what you're supposed to have when you when your guests come over. You have a plate sitting around like this. They saying, "What is that?" And then you say. Have a taste. <laughs> Have a taste. Yeah, but during my, uh, as far as the audition part of it, obviously, I didn't, I didn't make the cut. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna allow that to like deter me from continuing. The, but the only reason why you didn't make the cut is because you, you know you still, you, you, she didn't. You know what? They still use headshots. They still use yeah. headshots. I'm prepared and, a little bit. And and, and the, 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 just because you didn't, you didn't understand that. Mm -hmm. I understand that you know that, that that's yes yeah, that's a part of the preparation, mm -hmm. but but that's the only reason because they called you back mm -hmm. and they asked you for those things. She just didn't have it at the time, but I bet you she ready now. <laughs> I bet you she ready now, and that's why I am grateful that she's here to um, just talk about talk talk about some of her life lessons. And um, again, um, I can, I, I'm helping her at the same time she's helping me. Because we want all those subscriptions. We want all those likes. Like, comment, subscribe. Yes, we want to. This is the term. We want to blow up. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And this time, I'm trying not to make this lesson more than 30 minutes. <laughs> And also, you know, uh, me and my uncle, we also have, um, aside from the things that we love to do, we also do things that we got to do, such as work. And, you know, I work as an, a paraprofessional assistant teacher as well. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we can, yes. we can talk about that. Because I, I, I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I spend my time also as a full-time teacher. Mm -hmm. And, again, it, it, it's, it, it's funny to 
to, 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 to tell each other stories of, of, you know, we don't, we're not picking on nobody. Oh, no, no. But, you know, <laughs> kids can be the funniest people. That's what they say. Yeah, you know what I mean? Kids can be the funniest yeah. people. They, they, they're sure enough a conversational starter, I'm going to tell you that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, um, Rivi, she had this video where, because she was talking about her, um, the teacher's lunchtime. A teacher's lunch time. Oh, the <laughs> she was in there. She had to come up the salt. She go, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and she said one of the students asked her how was how did the lunch taste? Was it good? Was it good? What you tell them? I ain't taste all I had time to do was chew and swallow. Because <laughs> nah. um, thirty minutes ain't enough. <laughs> <laughs> nope. But that's how it is sometimes. But again, we live the kids. Yeah, we actually we love what we do. And then I appreciate that, that, you know, I have a shared interest as my uncle, you know, so I, I value that. Yes, we're having a good time. Mm -hmm. And, and she, she sure, she, she's opinionated. So I definitely wanted her to be here mm -hmm. to taste something. And, and, and again, I, like I said, every time I fix something so far, because I have a lot of recipes in my head mm -hmm. that things that I've always, you know, I, I've done like my um, cheesy shrimp cakes, um, my sliders, um, my pull apart chicken bread, all that kind of stuff is stuff that's all in my head. But again, I keep telling you guys, the stuff that I've been doing is stuff that we are doing for the first time together. That corn was the first time that I've done that. I. I didn't know how you, you know, you put it in the microwave, how are you going to get the, 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 the silk, the, the hub, you know, all that all. So we did a sample one, and when we did like that for, and pushed that thing, all that stuff came off. So that. It's very I'm, easy. Yes, that's very simple, very mm -hmm. easy. Now, all we're doing now, we're just waiting for this, um, the mushrooms and the onions and stuff to just caramelize. It smells real good, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. So, so in fact, what we're going to do, we're going to take a break, so so and so this stuff can you know come to form, and then we'll be right back. Reggie's cooked into life's lessons with Riri. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back at you. This is where we're at now. You, this is caramelized. That, that's the mushrooms, the onions, the peppers, mm. that is caramelized. That's what you want it to look like. Look at the spoon, you can see it coming up here. That's fantastic. It smells good too. Yes, yes, yes. So we're gonna do that there. Now, we pull it out the flank steak. We pull it out the flank steak. I smashed it, you know, pounded on a little bit, but, mm. I'm just doing a little bit. And actually, I thought it was going to be this wide, but it, it wasn't. I had to um, cut it, cut it, split it in the middle and open it up. And since this end is like this, we're going to start on this end. And what we do, we're going to throw some seasonings up on it. Well, th let's throw some um, lorries up on there. Riri, we're going to throw some lorries. Oops. We don't want to do it that way. We'll do it like this way. But it, it could be just steak, so it could be just salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. So season, any, any kind of seasons you want. Any kind of seasons you want. Of course, you, you, you season to your taste. And I'm not going to put that much seasoning on there because I'm seasoning it to taste. And a good thing about this these meals that we've been doing today is 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 helpful for us busy moms yeah because you know? i'm a like i'm a football mom i go to work monday through friday so like if i need to make something because i want my babies to always have a hot meal and this will be like this is right up my alley right way right here look it's at like this. quick look how we doing this now we are talking about taste buds rock rip, ripping this is taste bud ripping this is a stuffed steak shake i mean stuffed um steak roll that's right, Ruby. You can bring that out. I believe we go with the um, this, we're going to go with the spinach first, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to put this on here like this. Now let's 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 put the um, spinach on it, Ruby, please. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Lay that spinach all, out all on it. I like spinach too. Yes, 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 yes. Sweet, yes. Put that spinach on there. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because you know spinach will shrink up on you once it, once it gets mm -hmm. cooked. So let's, let's do this like that. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going for the provolone cheese. This chicken, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to do it just like this, really. You know, if a couple pieces or two, just two pieces stuck together, we is not going to complain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it like that. Do it on that side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dear. No now let's um now we we, we, pour, we pulled out the toothpicks. Now we, we with with this, now it's called or we rolling it up. Now we're going to roll it up. So now we are rolling it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we'll pull it back. Oh, oh, oh. Now, let's spear it, spear it, spear it with the, um, with the toothpick. Start at the top. Perfect. Start at the top, yeah. Right, 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 right here, right here, right where my finger's at. Stick it, stick it in there. There you go. Now, let's stick another one right there. Mm-hmm. Let's stick another one right here. Right here. Yeah, right there. Stick it all the way in there. There you go. Now let's stick an, let's stick another one right down here. Mm -hmm. Let's let's stick one on this back side since this one is this piece right there is like that. Yeah. Now we have it rolled up. Mm -hmm. roll yeah, up? let's let's stick one let's stick one right right there. Now we have it rolled up. Let, let's let's show you guys how it's rolled up. That ours look a little messy, but but now we 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 oh, 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 this is what I'm looking for because now we're going to get, let me take this one. You want to put less less stuff in there? No, no. We want we want it to do whatever it's going to do. We're going to do it. Now we're going to slice it like this. Now we're going to slice it. Now we just want to try to keep it rolled up as much as we can. Now I just moved this one around a little bit. Now we come here. Make sure this stays rolled up. Give me a two fit, please. Uh, we 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 doing some surgery over here, mm -hmm. but we're gonna go here. Mm -hmm. And I think we got room for one more slice. Damn. Okay. Ooh. We want to keep this stuff in. Let's put another toothpick in here. Right, let's put another one right here. It's because we're trying to keep it rolled up. So we're going now. We we have it cut. Now so we're gonna put that pan on the fire right there, and we're going to drop a little oil in there. Now, what I'm not doing is fretting over the fact that, because that's a big piece of steak. <laughs> now, we're going we're gonna to let that, now, let, let, let's, let's talk about something. Give us some one of your analogies, because I know you can be funny. <laughs> well, I mean, far as me being funny or whatever, it just, I'm just being my natural self. I don't really like, you know, throw it out there, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. Damn, 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 she can't even be funny. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> I just be natural with it and stuff. 
But um, that, that, again, I told you, you remind me so much of um, the, the Haddish girl. That's what you remind me of. She's, you know, because she's I'm funny. Honored. And, um, and, 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 and trust me, you do have that way about you, being <laughs> straightforward. Yeah, I get it from my mama. And oh, don't, wow. let's not forget my uncle, too. <laughs> <laughs> now this, I took the one piece off. That looks good. Yes, but good. see how it looks in there rolled up? Mm -hmm. I took the one piece off and now I'm getting ready to throw these other pieces in there because I'm going to sear a couple minutes on each side and then it'll go into the oven. So here I go, cutting this like this, cutting through. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that does look good. I think maybe I can fit three pieces in there. And we're letting it um, sear on um, a couple, few minutes on each side. And we'll let that do that, and we'll, these two pieces will be the last two pieces that go in there. Okay. But yes, that does look delicious. Riri is here for the Randy Gage Cooked Into Life Lessons. Okay, you can bring this one up and bring it around. Yeah, yeah, but go ahead, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, because this would be you, um, the audience in the kitchen doing it. And But you understand that it's not perfect, you know, if, 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 if you have to do whatever you got to do to make it stick stick and roll, you do what you got yeah, You do what you got to do. Because you want it to be tight. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna do that. Because right. we, do that. we got we got some pieces over here that are doing their thing. That that looks. Oh my goodness! The, it smells good, you, you, you can, you, I, I hate for the fact that you can't. This, you don't have smell TV yet. Because this mm -hmm. this. It's doing its thing on the stove. It's doing its thing. Y'all, bang, bang. <laughs> Man, that smells delicious. This smells fantastic. Y'all. Mm -hmm. And again, this is the first time that I'm making the dish, and Riri is making first time she's making the dish too. But I know one thing, I send my Guess home with an idea. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when I and this right here was so juicy, like I had to wash my glasses because it squirted on my glasses as <laughs> I was eating it. That's that's juicy, huh, baby? That's, that's that juice. But as far as me being funny, I get it from my mom. My mom low key funny on the huh? My mom low key funny. She only realized how funny she is. <laughs> She be doing it on accident, sometimes on purpose. <laughs> but she's funny, but Bob's funny. The, the truth is, we have been some straightforward people all our lives. So, and yeah. you know, sometimes because life is funny, life is sad, life is funny. But when you're straightforward, you there's humor. Mm -hmm. There's humor because yeah. that's how we, that's how you live. That's yeah. how you live. You know what? What I'm going to do while this thing is searing, I'm. Oh no, I can't do that. I was I, I don't want to have you guys watching me eat. So <laughs> what we're gonna do, we'll take another break. We'll take another break, we'll come back, and we'll be right um, we'll, we'll be ready to go into the oven. Because it's still gonna have to go into the oven after we sear it on um, each side for a, a couple of minutes. <laughs> Folks, we are back. And the reason why I am so she, I'm cheesing so hard is because I um, already seared the um, the steak, steak roll-ups on each, soft steak roll-ups on each side. And I, we did that for a couple minutes and I stick them in the oven at three, 375 for the 15, 20 minutes that I'm supposed to do. And it smells amazing in here. And the, this, this where I'm about to go show you something. This 
is the bang, bang, bang. This is what our results are. That is fabulous. Now, I got my re-re here with us. You know how you got to do so you get excited and everything. She be over here like, mm-hmm. She ready, she ready. OMG. I'm hey. gonna put this one on. Oh, you know, now, now once we um do this part like this, we oh, oh you, you seen that? Yes. You seen that? You seen the yes. cheese coming up out of there. Yes. Now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to take the toothpicks out. Take the toothpicks out, baby. Take the, see, I think it might have another one underneath there, but you know, it's not it's not going to kill you because we ain't eating two toothpicks. <laughs> but I took that toothpick out, and I'm going to take, oh, oh, my God, I'm pulling it, and my stuff is getting right there. My stuff is getting my mushrooms and my cheese. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, gee. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, oh, for, uh, for our guest that's in the wing, I'm going to grab her piece. I'm gonna put her piece on the plate too, and you know what? I, I guess I guess I should take the toothpicks out. I'm gonna take the toothpicks out. Take the toothpicks out. So and now I'm going to put a piece of corn on our plates. Mm-hmm. We. Mm -hmm. Oh. 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 Now you know what happens. You know what part of the show this is. This is the part of the show. Oh, this is for our guests. This is where she'll be sampling. Thank you. This is the part. Oh, did I give you your fork? And maybe you got your fork? Mm -hmm. That's an extra one. Now, we'll take and cut into our meal, into our piece of, oh, our strong mm -hmm. Trying to get the steak. piece with all the cheese and everything, all mm. in one forkful. That's what I'm trying to get. This is, this is the part where I go crazy, Riri. Mm -hmm. This is where I cut, I cut this piece. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Look at that, mushrooms and the cheese and the spinach. Mm -hmm. Right, this is the part okay. where I feel like that. Oh, I gotta show my audience my plate up close, yes. Then I show you guys like this. You know how I do it, guys. And I go, mm -hmm, oh. look at that. Mm. Now, this is the part where I fall. Oh my God, it's so juicy. And this part, right here. Mm. Mm. See, that when you know it's good when it's not. It's like you know it's good when it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being with us on Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. Riri was our guest. Thank, Thank you. We wanted it to be lighthearted. Enjoy your day. Catch you next time on our episode, Reggie's Cooked Into Life's Lessons. Thank Peace. you, folks. Peace.